it was a gun. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. Just want to experience something else than a black man. Move on, move on. I like a horse with blinkers. Honestly, say, I was about to have sex and then I pulled Crap, but it's nice. <laughs>
how has it affected you with uh, being a retail worker and stuff like that? I'm sure you guys have a lot of customers and stuff coming in and that type of thing. How has that worked out for you? Okay, for me personally, the COVID-19 pandemic is was a is a good experience. But obi omla kus ek wat non retail department is ek as bidiais. Ek kan non ya asi vier jaar terug was ek mos nog diagnose met asthma. And unfortunately for me, is it a gevaar om by die werk te wees. So as ons het customers elke dag, en jy moet seker maak, hulle moet gesanitize wees en alles soos al die reels aangaan. En dit is eindelijk gevaar vir my, soos ek is nou een van die digital operators op die computers werk. En vir al die redes is ek nou by die huis, nou op die oomlik, ek kan nou nie hier as sien. En in die selde tyd, soos even nou ek is by die huis, ek kan selfs ook in my familie sien nie, wanneer laas het ek my familie gesien. Ek moet by die huis wees, want dit is mos nou een gevaarlijke saak. So basically vir my, het is een paie moeilike experience gewees, so ver. Melvin, how about you? You were a student, you studying and stuff like that. I'm sure it had an effect on your school work also. Yeah, for me personally, it's more about understanding because like we have moved on to online school so we don't have face-to-face -face classes with our lecturers and stuff so we so me personally i have to i have to sit down and actually understand the work whereas before i used to get someone to explain the work to me you understand mm -hmm. so i think for me it really played a lot on my mental health per se because i needed to achieve a certain percentage I need to, needed to maintain a certain mark actually before this COVID-19 and after this COVID-19, I need to come out stronger. So I think mm. by me studying a lot, actually were, by me, but me actually putting more time into my studies, it's really affecting my mental health. But yeah, that's really, it doesn't affect me that in other areas. I just, I just uh, wanted to go back to you, Tamsin. Do you think, like, going back to, um, like, when Krish is in the schools and that type of thing, when they, when it opens again, do you think it will be the same, like, after this whole thing's, like, blown down, but it's not really, like, gone, because we're not sure, you know, who's still affected, who isn't affected, that type of thing. Do you think it will still be the same, like, with Krish's? Would you guys have to handle the kids more attentively? Because you know how kids are, they pick up things and they just bite on anything and they just, yeah. you know? Thing. How, do you, how do you figure that out? Like, how would that be? That is something that we're going to actually have to keep an eye on. Mm. Because, like you said, kids are very yeah. hands-on. So, but with my age group, I have an age group that I can actually, like, talk to and maybe explain, like, wash your hands regularly, uh, don't use things from the floor, and don't, like, touch things unnecessarily things and like I don't know if we're gonna be wearing masks or those shield things mm -hmm. but knowing my kids they are very fidgety so they would want to take it off after like five minutes <laughs> so we're gonna have to like keep that into the heads like no keep it on or else mm. I don't want to say anything bad <laughs> but anything can happen Thanks. and uh, and plus, they're young, so they're not actually understanding everything that is mm. going on. So hopefully their parents are kind of explaining, like, please listen to your teachers and do what they say. That's if we yeah. go back. But if everything dies down in the end, then hopefully everything will just run smooth. And we're probably going to have to like split classes now because you can't have a certain amount in a class so that's going to be something new and hard to like process speaking of school and stuff Camilla do you think like it will be the same at school like after this whole thing is done and they say you guys have to go back to school because I know it's only the matrix and the grade sevens that goes back in the, in the on the first of June I think but like with you guys when you guys go back and stuff do you think it will be the same because you won't be able to sit that close to your friend or you can't do certain things, you know? I don't think that it will be the same because most of the children's reason to go to school is to spend time with their friends as well. Mm -hmm. And it will be difficult amongst us because we won't be able to greet our friends the way we used to do. Mm. And it will be different because everything it will be like 
like the only reason that we have to go to school is to work, which is supposed to be a good reason. But like intervals, it will be different because you won't be able to buy these children that, that buy things by the tax shop and they won't even be able to buy things by the tax shop anymore. And I'm, I'm pretty sure in like in the retails and stuff like that, you know, do you think things will be the same again? Honestly, Shay, I can no me see a car ta funny me. Because why as he act on man it as he bunkles or reels strict can we and ons a new bunkel and bada so ver man it see a kermak that the customers at uncom ons mut for the yaka dung year levan so obi omla on se on se lawle okay um clear the footy sales if I give a com exchange so zai on se allow ni so ma yen a kadang so ek fu man it as ons as he verkers manunet stick many reels in dan salad uh progress. And did you with, with what, sorry with the whole transporting thing of kids and stuff like that? So it will have a huge impact with me needing to sanitize it all the time because I'm taking the risk of transporting other people's children as well as food. And with all the mm. food that I have stocked up, I need to start handing it out. But you can't just hand out also. So with my staff members, I need to that's the least that I can do up until a certain stage and hand it out to them but after that then there's nothing that i can do mm. with regards to the food so the transportation it, it is really something bad that i really don't know how i will be able to but i'm trying to figure out ways how to but things won't be the same because it, it does have a huge impact financially on everyone mm. it does Malvin, with you also still on the school matter bro yeah, how's, it's, how, how's this? Honestly, it's 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 challenging. I think mostly because like I don't get to see my friends. Um, but I have like I have means to communicate with them on a daily basis. Yeah. But honestly, for me, it really just has effect. It just affected me on my studies, and like I said, face to face contact is a is an issue. So, um, like online learning, it's really helpful. It's helpful. Let me say it's helpful if you want to be helpful, but Mm. If you don't want, if you don't want to study, then the what's then what, there's no point in online school because I mean yeah. you do, you you study for yourself, you're not studying for anyone else. You know? So that's really yeah. But like, do you think it will be this? Uh, do you think it will be the same like at varsity and stuff? Do you think people will like practice all social distancing? Will people still greet each other like yo, bro, hugs and you know that type of thing? Yeah, I get that. I mean, look, I mean, for me, I would like, I would definitely want things to go back to the way it was, but mm. I know that it won't go. We, we we're not gonna go back back to our old life. We're not gonna have um really, like relationships like we had in the past. Everything's gonna change. So I just don't understand. I just don't know how we're gonna manage that change. But we will find a way. We we I mean we are humans. Damson, what is your dream? My dream is that this whole COVID-19 thing dies down and I can spend more time with my family and friends. My dream is to just pick up where my business dropped off and letting it expand and yes. <laughs> my dream is to actually study for the not be COVID being the way we are doing. My dream is to become successful and for me to continue my education to the furthest way possible. My traumas that be a little bit of a hand when I get myself goes that I will achieve it will fade the hands to tear. That is in for me, it's a big year to so that they can successful in the ways. My dream is, is just to adjust to a new life and I maintain my, my mental health. That's my dream. Yeah, Z, you should ever sit and talk with people Or else take a walk and create this straight talk Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger Listen what is right and say what is wrong You should ever sit and talk with people Or else take a walk and create this straight talk Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger Listen what is right and say what is wrong